everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a girls night out completed look. I'm doing the makeup. I'm gonna do some nail art for the first time for you guys. It was kind of scary but I think it came out pretty good. And outfit. Um, I haven't had a girls night out in a really long time but I thought it'd be fun to do this look for you. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Today I'm gonna start off with the nails and first I'm applying the London Town Kerr Nail Hardener and this is gonna help my weak nails from breaking. And once that's on I'm gonna pick up this gorgeous bluish purple color. It's called To the Queen with Love and I'm gonna paint all of my nails this color except for the ring fingers. I notice the polish leaves your nails with this ultra glossy shine which I really like and I originally I was gonna do one accent nail but I decided to do two so that's why the ring finger is blue now and will be a different color later. <laughs> For the ring finger, I'm going to apply a cool taupe shade and this is in the color Chimes of the City. All of the nail polishes from London Town are vegan, gluten free, and most importantly to me, they're cruelty free so that definitely makes my heart happy. I'm going to use a nail polish remover pen to wipe away any mistakes, but you can also use acetone and a thin brush to get into those hard to reach areas. Now it's time for the nail design and here I'm taking the blue I used earlier, just pouring some onto the foil as well as this brown shade, it's in the color Pence by the Pound. And I'm going to take this wood stick nail tool, or you can use a toothpick if you don't have one of these, and just create tiny C shapes. And you want to face them in different directions. And it doesn't have to be perfect C's, I think it helps make it look a little bit more realistic. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this nail polish line because usually I do gels because my nails are so weak and I don't like the look of chipped polish and usually I don't have the time to redo them myself but this look lasted me a full week with no chipping so this just makes me want to try more colors and designs so now I have this newfound interest in nail art and nail polish. And here I'm just filling in the open spaces with dots and tiny messy lines. And this looks pretty good just how it is. So you can leave it like this or you can add the blue dots like I did in the center of the C's. And you know what guys, I am such a beginner at this kind of stuff, but I wanted to try something different on my channel for you guys. So I called up my friend uh, Janelle or Ellen Dish and she gave me this idea. So if you're a beginner like me, you definitely can do this. So try it out, don't be afraid. It's super fun and now I just want to do more designs. And I wanted to see how easy it was to use a tiny brush instead of the dotting tool. So I just grabbed a tiny brush and dotted the blue into the center. So you can do either or, whatever is easiest for you guys. Now I'm using the top coat and this is going to seal everything together and make it look even more glossier. And let me know what you guys think. I was happy with the outcome considering I am super, super beginner status. Now for the makeup, I'm going to pick up the color Rewind from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and I'm going to apply this more heavily on the inner and outer corners of the eyes and lightly pat a small amount onto the center of the lids. Once we get out towards the ends, I'm going to create a cat eye with the shadow using the same shader brush. With a clean blending brush, I'm going to soften just underneath the wing. With the same eyeshadow and shader brush, I'm going to bring it down to the lower half of the bottom lash line. For the center of the lids, I'm going to add this frost peach color to highlight the eyes. Next, I'm taking this satin champagne color to highlight my brow bone and inner corners. And then I'm going to flip my brush around to the fluffy side to blend it down into the other colors. Next, I'm going to take this golden bronze blush and wash this onto the top of the crease and lightly blend the edges into the taupe color, but you still want to see that bronze color peeking through the top. 
line my top lash line, I'm gonna use my current favorite liquid liner from The Balm. It's called Schwing, and I'm just gonna create a small flick towards the end. I literally pretended to hit a baseball right now. Just, you know, just wanna throw that in there. To lengthen my lashes, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara to the tops and bottom lashes, just applying a few coats. If this ever happens to you guys, don't freak out and try to wipe it off right away. Let it dry for a little bit so that it doesn't smear and it just wipes right off. Next I'm going to apply some Wispy Lashes and I will list the exact brand and name in the description box. And for the cheeks, I'm using a bronzy blush and I'm going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks sweeping back into the hairline. Next, I'm going to add some light to my face by applying this powder highlight to the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm applying my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Nude and then going over it with a pinky nude lip gloss. And this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want your own London Town nail set, just check the description box below for more details. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Bye, dollies. Cool. Do I have to say butt? We're all friends here. What, what? Okay, so. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you missed my last two videos, don't forget to check the boxes below. So that's it. I love you guys. Bye.